Outworld is one of Mortal Kombat's most notorious realms. Its known history dates back millions of years ago when the Dragon King Onaga became its first ruler. From that point, Outworld has expanded exponentially through means of conquests, invasions, and annexations. Consequently, many races that aren't originally native to Outworld were naturalized and eventually became part of this realm. Out of these unique races came out notable combatants such as Baraka, Reptile, and Goro. In this list, we're looking into Outworld's most badass combatants of all time. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. Number 10. Ermac We would serve the new ruler of Outworld. Ermac is simply the outcome of Outworld's darkest age. Thanks to the growing forces of great leaders such as Shao Kahn and Onaga, many civil wars have broken out between the different factions and this led to the death of many Outworld clans. Ermac happens to be a fusion of the many souls destroyed in the Outworld Wars, only to be controlled by Emperor Shao Kahn. Because of the sheer concentration of souls within Ermac, he possesses the gifts of telekinesis, teleportation, as well as the ability to travel between the realms. <laughs> Number 9. Goro this four-armed giant is one of Mortal Kombat's most recognizable characters. His outstanding physical attributes helped him become the ultimate champion of the Mortal Kombat tournament for nine consecutive times, having defeated Earthrealm's most decorated combatants including the Great Kung Lao. As any other dominant champion, his reign didn't last forever and came to an abrupt end after a humiliating defeat at the hands of Liu Kang, who eventually succeeded in ousting the invading Outworld forces. Number 8. Aram Black Mind games don't work on me. This expert gunslinger is one of Mortal Kombat's most impressive newcomers. Despite being originally from Earthrealm, Aram Black was recruited by Coral Khan as his assistant thanks to his impressive mastery in firearms and sword fighting. In combat, Aram Black combines fast kicks and punches, followed by either vicious stabs with his Tarkatan blade or a series of shots directed at his opponent's faces. You enjoy that one? Number 7, Melina. I, Melina, Khanum of Outworld, order your execution! Melina was created by Shang Tsung's sorcery in his flesh pits at Shao Kahn's request, who perceived a lack of loyalty from his adopted daughter Kitana. After the Emperor's passing, Melina inherited the throne and became the ruler of Outworld. However, her dominance was short lived because she was deposed and imprisoned by Coral Khan. At some later point in time, Melina was freed by a group of Tarkatans loyal to her father and thus begins a rebellion to reclaim her throne. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was it for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! Number 6. Rain. This demigod is known to have an eager desire to become the ruler of any realm by any means necessary. After an unsuccessful attempt to become the leader of the Edenian Resistance, which is the group that took care of him after his parents' death, Rain decided to betray them by joining the Outworld forces all in an effort to seek leadership. For that, he participated in Melina's attempt to assassinate Coral Khan, which unfortunately for Rain was unsuccessful and led to Melina's execution. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. Number 5. Reptile I am the last Zephyrum. Like many other Outworld characters, Reptile would ally himself with anybody to achieve his ultimate goals. What differentiates him from the rest, however, is that he does not strive for power at all. He's caught in a delusional state of mind, obsessed with returning his homeworld of Zetera back to its former glory. Additionally, his mastery of stealth and camouflage makes him a valuable ally for anybody to have. Hence, huge outworld leaders like Shao Kahn and Quarrel personally reached out to him for their espionage missions. I know things. 
about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling and pave the way for Quatal. Number four, Baraka. My blade will find your heart. Baraka's story is similar to Reptile in many forms. His home realm was conquered by Shao Kahn ages ago, but unlike Reptile, Baraka actually didn't mind living under his rule. In fact, he was one of Shao Kahn's most trusted warriors and was among the very few people that remained on Melina's side on the day of the conspiracy. Shao Kahn conquered my realm. I owe him my loyalty. I honor his will. Number 3. Koro Khan The rebellion is over. Koro Khan's story begins when he started gaining popularity among outworlders, including Melina's inner circle such as Reptile and Ermac. After a successful coup against Melina's rule, Outworld became one of the most peaceful and stable realms, since unlike his predecessors, Koral Khan has never been interested in conquering other realms, preferring instead to focus on internal affairs. This, however, saw a backlash against these policies from other realms, particularly the Nether Realm, which is the reason why Khan's reign is still under a great threat and can end at any time if the right alliances are made against him. We go to Earth Realm. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden. Number 2. Onaga With an innate ability to raise the dead, Onaga was able to create an undefeatable army that helped him become the absolute ruler of Outworld. Having grown wiser and more powerful, Onaga decided to convert his army into a mummified state and kept them hidden in an ancient tomb to make sure that no one could ever use them against him. Known about that, Shao Kahn, who was one of his chief advisors at that time, couldn't let that opportunity escape and decided to poison Onaga, taking over his rule of Outworld and at the same time, opening a new chapter filled with conquests and treacheries in the centuries to come. I should have taken Earthrealm by force, but I am bound by their rules. Rules that cannot be broken. My lord! Kill him! Number 1. Shao Kahn I am Shao Kahn, conqueror of worlds! You will taste no victory. I believe that many of you already expected this, but in case you didn't, let me clarify that without Shao Kahn, there is no outworld like we know it, no Melina, no Shang Tsung, and pretty much no other character mentioned in this list. Possessing godlike strength, Shao Kahn has been Earthrealm's biggest threat and Raiden's most sworn enemy, making him the number one antagonist of the franchise. But despite his endless superpowers, Shao Kahn's greatest weakness lies in his arrogance and blinding lust for conquest, which brought about his demise in MK9. Do you think I missed your favorite Outworlder? Let us know in the comments section below. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Evolution.